live from the Morongo Casino Studios, it's the Heidi and Frank Show on 95.5, KLOS, and KLOS HD1. Los Angeles. Heidi and Frank Show, thank you for joining us here at 9 a.m. with our special guest, Greg Grumberg is here. Hello, Greg. Hey, Ronnie. Hello. Hi. I'm like, uh, like in the zoo here. I'm, yes. I, and I appreciate you guys putting me in this this room where I can, you know, masturbate and you can't see me. Oh, there, oh it's, it's, that's what you're it's doing. It's glass. Oh, oh, it is glass. I'm yeah. sorry. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on the air? <laughs> this is just a warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Greg is in the new film Max Reloaded and the Nether Blasters, which is obvious. Which is strange. That's Heidi's nickname in high school, Nether Blasters. The oh, Nether Blasters for yes. the Nether region. Yes. She used to blast those Nether regions. Net. Oh, oh, yeah, blast yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's been released in drive-in theaters over the weekend, as well as video on demand starting today. How weird is that? Like, drive released in, in drive-in, th- select drive-in theaters. What is this, the 70s? I know, exactly. <laughs> What's going on? How many Smoke people? a doobie and go to the drive-in. Right, check the trunk. <laughs> Wasn't at one point they used possible. to show porn at drive-in theaters? There were certain, like, porno theaters where I grew up. Uh, porno drive-in theaters? <laughs> yeah. The. Uh, Are you kidding me? Well, the... Uh, the a highway, I think it was Highway 63, and it went. the The screens back was to the road, to the to, so yeah. you couldn't see what was going on. Oh, but okay. it was the breezeway, and I think it was totally known as a porno drive-in theater. Wow, <laughs> that's really weird. Oh, yeah, it's like uh, one of those adult theaters you would go into, and yeah, what was the ground around the car sticky? Oh God, can you imagine <laughs> yeah. that poor landscaper? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. The, yeah, they just had street sweepers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Going yeah. through the aisles. Uh, no, it's a weird time. It's like uh, distributing a movie right now. This is a low budget movie, right? It doesn't feel like a low budget. Movie. It's got all these special effects. It's really cool, and it's a kind of a love letter to uh, vintage games from the '80s and '90s yeah. and current games. So, but you don't have to know gaming. Obviously, my ridiculous face is throughout the whole movie, and we're having a fun time. Kevin Smith's in it. Lynn Shea is in it, Hassie Harrison, all these great actors. But, you know, it's a level playing field. So the studios can't distribute their movies in theaters right now. So, oh, so you're on the same. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same. So, you know, you try and vie for attention. But when you go on Vudu or iTunes or Fandango, wherever these, wherever our movie is right now, it's just right there with all the other big movies, which is kind of cool. Yeah. You know, and right. and. It's an escape. It's a total escape. Movie. I know uh, my movie just came out, uh, Malibu Rescue: The Next Wave, went to number one in the U.S. on Netflix. What? I mean, you're yes, just... you gotta no, wait, watch what do you it. Mean, my movie. What does that mean? I, w- I played championship host in this uh, movie <laughs> called Malibu Rescue. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That was your name? Yes. Championship host. A, a championship host had a trailer and had that on the on the door and everything. Championship Come on, that's host. That's awesome. I know it's fantastic. I'm like... going straight to the porn drive-in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they're Championship showing it. Championship host with the most. <laughs> Do you think there'll be a spinoff called Championship Host 2? I hope so. I mean, the director was very impressed with me, so I don't think he's going to write me into the second season. But is that true? It went to number one on Netflix. Yeah, number one okay. uh, USA film, right, right, right past Jurassic Park. That's, but that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's like, you know, can you just click around? Does it come? People that, that watch this also want Malibu Rescue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. You might also like. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So during this uh, pandemic, I know that your wife is very concerned about you showing up and hanging out with us. So she's kept you inside, <laughs> locked down. <laughs> yeah. She's just, she, she doesn't want me to mingle with anybody right now. Yeah, because then you go home and it's like, well, where have you been and who are they in contact with? And you've got to worry about that. Stuff. Yeah. I mean, look, our oldest has epilepsy, right? So we have that high risk in the house. Um, and so we don't want Jake to get this in any way. Um, we've been doing, a, you know, we've been doing social distance uh, stuff in the backyard. We turned our backyard into a nine-hole golf course um, with tree stumps wow. instead of holes. Yeah. I mean, nice. they're not very long holes, but it's great. Yeah. And then I've got two baseball players. You know, Jake's Jake's practicing his taekwondo in the backyard. Sam and Ben are, we, we built a batting cage. We upped our gym. Like, this is the place to come. So it's not like we're that isolated because we have a, a few select people, but we're keeping our distance and... Uh, it's tough though, man. My my dad turned eighty eight. I couldn't give him a hug. You know, that's oh. that's the stuff. But but we're healthy. We're happy. Everybody's doing well. And, um, and your Mar- banana bread is fantastic. Yeah. My banana Thanks bread. for the banana bread. It, it is delicious. Wow. Is it delish? And the smoked meats. I'm not a big smoked meat, but yours is great. It's Isn't it great? It's so good. Greg. I love you. Fake it like being invited to a fake wedding. You yes. know, it's the same. <laughs> it's like 
Speaking of wedding, how is uh, the relationship with your bride? Uh, Elizabeth's the greatest. She's okay, the greatest. Okay, so, so no problems with quarantine? Be like, can you please go on a movie set? I can't. Is no, usually- I got to say, if I wasn't snipped, we'd have three more kids. I mean, this Whoa. is it's wow. quarantine. Quarantine, you got nothing else to do. You, you know, wanna- you got to watch Malibu Rescue and then get it done. And that turns women on. It does. <laughs> so, um- we play championship host yeah! and... <laughs> and the nether region. Role playing. Yeah, the nether Cha- oh, yeah, the championship host of the nether region. His nether blaster, honey. All right. Exactly. Uh, now, you've been on the show many times. Have you ever uh, d- uh, tried Malort liquor? Did I ever give you a shot of this? No. Is that new? Uh, oh, no. This is the, well, it's the worst tasting liquor in the world out of Cook County. You're uh, selling Illinois. me already. <laughs> you don't want to drink this stuff. Their wow. motto, I mean, they know it, they own it, that they suck. Their motto is uh, when you want to unfriend somebody. It's just, it, this <laughs> so, actually passed through the Prohibition era as, a, you know, because no one's going to drink this stuff for fun. They were like, it's a medicine, it's not a liquor. So basically during Dude, Prohibition. Dude, everything you're saying says don't put this near my mouth. Yes, yeah. don't put this near your lips. So we're going to play truth or drink. So you got to tell us the truth or you have to drink this uh, really full shot, okay? Of oh. the worst tasting liquor in the world. I didn't know this was going to happen. Sammy, I, do you want to take that shot in there to Greg Grumberg? Is this your version of Hot Ones? This is like... Yes, uh, it is. It is? So I can't sanitize my... Uh, I, I, this is me sanitizing the inside of my body, right. essentially. Oh, this, for sure. This, nothing will live in there. This is the uh, poor man's juice cleanse. Not, no. Nothing will live in there, uh, Greg. Not even hope. <laughs> why? Why is this so tall? This it's shot like glass. a it's a skinny shot, so it's the same, but it's like the glass is skinny. Do you it want is. to take a little sip just so, so you, you understand how getting? bad it of is? Of course, yeah. Okay, just take a little sip. <sighs> oh my god! Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, it smells like my cologne. <laughs> It, and it grows. It gets bigger. It, it does. People it, will try to take a drink of water to help it, and they're it like, oh, well, no, it's reflowering. It's, okay. it's a- so, so, by the way, this game, you have the guest take a little sip. I am now going to say nothing but the truth. Right. There's no chance now. I'm going to lie. Yeah, yes. you don't want to drink any more of that. Oh, my God. That is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever... Literally, you know the, 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 the like uh, those stores that used to sell the fart spray? Yeah. That's what this is. This is fart spray <laughs> in a yes, shot glass. That is perfectly described. It... Ugh. All right. Which, which, by the way, was my nickname in high school. Yeah. Fart spray? Fart spray. <laughs> oh, nice. What's up, fart spray? <laughs> What's up, FS? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, here's we're gonna start out slow and get a little bit more difficult. Through oh, look at that face. Oh my it's god, that to... is so bad. And then you took a drink of water and it reflowered. I told you not to do that. <laughs> it grows with water. Reflowered. Oh, yeah, it, like... re, it, it reshat is what. It did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the first question. Yeah. Have you ever done something you're not proud of for money? Uh oh yeah, I'm an actor. Dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> name name the worst gig you ever had. Um, yeah, I had, a, I did a movie. I shouldn't say this is a total skeleton in my closet, but I had a gig called the dark room. Uh, it was a movie called the dark room. And I played, this was, this was the cell. It was like, it was like this. It was like the worst tasting thing you could ever imagine. <laughs> um, you're going to play a, a murderer. You're going to play a mass murderer. It's something you've never played before. And I was like, Oh, you know, okay. It, you wouldn't expect it. I'm that, I'm that best friend guy. Yeah. I'm right. And so I started going down the road and uh, of move, doing the movie, and it's just it was just absolutely miserable. Like I want to laugh on the set, I want to have fun. I'm slitting women's throats. They're locked. They're, they're chained to the wall with with uh, um, like a dog bowl, and I'm I'm kicking the bowl away, and I'm I'm like the worst guy. Literally, it's just terrible. And the movie was terrible. <laughs> cut to cut to many years later. And I'm recording for my band, Band From TV, two two songs for the house soundtrack, right? Because Hugh Laurie and I started the band together. Yeah, I love it. So why we're there, who knows? It was just one of those great moments. I'm at Capitol Records recording with David Foster producing, like the legend, right? And he goes, <laughs> I'm just about to lay my drums down. And he goes, hey, um, you worked with my, uh, with my daughter. And I was like, what? I did? Yeah, he did a movie. Uh, she was chained to the wall. There was dog food. You slit her throat. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, of all the projects. Oh, my of all the God. Pro- so things come back to haunt you. <laughs> that was the worst experience ever. It's just one of those that I, and I, you know, here I am promoting Max Reload and the Nether Blasters, yeah. talking more about this other. <laughs> more about this movie that you can't stand and people watch it. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Uh, how long ago was that? Oh, you're not going to find it, Frank. You won't find it. No, it's not on Netflix no. anywhere. Championship okay. host one. You're not going to find it. <laughs> all right, Greg, tell you what. Uh, 
tell us your yeah. favorite joke. And if we laugh, and if anybody on the show laughs, we have to drink. <laughs> uh, that person, if you laugh, you have to drink. Okay. okay. So tell us your favorite joke. If any of us My laugh, we drink. My favorite joke? Yeah. God, I'm not a joke guy. I, do I have to drink if I don't come up with a if joke? If you don't come up with a joke, you have to drink that whole shot. Dude, this is going to be a long hour. <laughs> I mean, really, I can't believe what you're doing to me. Oh. Never have I been tested here. Oh, my God. Well, tell us a joke. I and mean, then if we, I, I, if I, 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 I knock, knock, knock jokes. Oh, um, knock, knock jokes. I mean, oh, knock, knocks are never funny. I mean, we're not going to drink. Oh, or, so, so if, so I, I just have to tell a joke. Tell a joke, and if any of us laugh, we got to keep it straight. So if I don't face. tell a joke, I drink. But the joke could be really terrible. Doesn't matter. I told doesn't a joke. Matter. Doesn't uh, matter. You God, don't have okay. to drink. Um, oh man, what did I? I, I don't have a joke. I can't uh -oh, believe I don't have a joke. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking this. You have to. You, know, if you don't tell us a joke. You're gonna have to like you know uh, come in here, grab my <laughs> shoulders, and shove this down my throat. <laughs> I don't have a it's joke. It's truth or drink, Greg. So uh, you, okay, you can look. You can look up a joke, or you can just take a sip. Just, right. just take a sip. All right, I'll take a sip. Take I literally don't like right now. I'm just drawing. You ever do that? You just draw a blank. Right. I don't it's have the a, pressure because you don't want to take. Yeah, this you don't drink. want to have that horrible. Oh, uh, this is the worst thing. I've it has ever also done. been described as the devil semen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's so bad. It's so <laughs> bad. Does the, do, do, have they only sold one? Oh my God, this is so bad. <laughs> yes, Greg Grunberg is with us. Oh. Uh, be sure to check out his new film, Max Reloaded and Nether Blasters. It's uh, going to be in drive in theaters over the weekend. And actually, it opened up already. And, <laughs> and uh, video on demand mm. starting today Max Reloaded and the Nether Blasters. Oh. Right, here's another question for you. <laughs> so uh, glad I got up for this. <laughs> What's something you know would make you a better person, but you just won't or don't want to do it? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, just don't want to do it. It'd make you a better person, but you just don't want to do it. Um, hmm. <laughs> What do I the want? The panic. Yeah, this yeah, take this sip. really yeah, are is a time sip. thing. Yeah, I didn't take another realize. Sip. Yeah, take another oh, sip. Dude. So, so, by the way, this does the opposite of get you drunk. Yeah, you're this, so sober. Yeah, yeah, this is like waking me up. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I don't want to drink. This is... This is not going to make me better, but I don't want to drink. Is that an answer to the question? <laughs> no. Yes. What's going to make you a better person? Oh, oh my. Dude, is this like Calvin Klein, the cologne? <laughs> I swear, this is literally the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. And I went to San Diego State University. <laughs> wow. All right, here's another question for you, Greg. It's truth or drink. Greg Grumberg is By the way, it's not getting better. Like, no, no. Stuff like this, usually the second, third sip. You, you think, oh, I, I got it. Now. Here's an easy one. No. Here's an easy I should have brought it. some Kadi whiskey. By the way, I'm plugging my. Oh, yes. If you're yeah. going to make me drink this this this, this urine, I'm yeah. going to plug my whiskey. <laughs> Kadi whiskey. You brought it last time. You didn't bring a bottle with you this no, time? No, it was good, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was yeah, so it's good. delicious. Yeah, really good. We love it. All right, what's the uh, most amount of money you would lend me? Oh, you? <laughs> yes, me. Uh, <laughs> wow. You? Oh. I mean, no, you know because I good. love you guys. I really do love you guys. Uh, but I mean, it's, you know, I'm not making a lot of money right now. Max Reload and the Nether Blasters, the budget of that was the same as the craft service budget on Star Wars. So, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I got to really kind of think. Yeah. I'm thinking, no, I would probably, I'd lend you, uh, I'd lend you like 20 grand. 20 grand. Thank you so much. Wow. I, would. That's I really amazing. would. That's being honest. But I would, I yeah. would absolutely ask for, you know. When Greg, uh, Something when, when my house burned down, yes. Greg Grumberg, he reached out and he gave me one of his uh, lunch lunch coolers that had his name written on it. Grumberg, remember the red cooler? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he gave me a cooler. Yeah, That's that nice. was worth twenty three thousand dollars. Twenty three thousand dollars because his name was on it. No, all right. Let me ask you that question. How much money would you lend me? <laughs> By the way, it's not give. I'm just lending it to you. The interest rate's going to be through the roof. Oh, yeah, you didn't think about that. You know when you lend some money to a friend, you know, you're never getting it back. That's true. So $20,000. You, you have to Thanks, be willing man. to just go, here it is. Here it is, and whatever gift. you can do with it. Right, but I would also preface it by don't tell Elizabeth. That oh, I'm yeah, doing she'll this. kill you. She'll right. kill you. You did what? Yeah, exactly. To who? You're going to buy another motorcycle? <laughs> All right, here's a question for you. Yeah. Uh, what scared you the most about sex as you were coming of age? Wow, that's a great question. Um, 
I, I, you know, I, I think as I was coming of age, just knowing what the hell to do. I, I, it's not like I had a drive-in theater to go learn what to <laughs> yeah, do. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, nowadays, like, you just, every tele- every cell phone, you can learn the right and the wrong way to do this. And also, like, the worst thing is porn. Let's just talk about it. Like, for, for kids today, it's so, it's just, it, there's nothing love, there's no love in it. There's no care. There's none of that stuff. Love making is in the back burner. It's the worst. It's the worst. Um, so I think just not knowing what the hell to do was my first thought. And then, of course, you know, doing it right and wrong, you know? Mm. Did you uh, have your first experience with somebody that you weren't dating or in love with, and then that worked your way towards, you know, somebody that you knew how to do at least once before you did it the right way? Uh, yeah, she had she had done it before me. Oh, so wow. So she kind of taught you how? Oh. Yeah, not really. It wasn't like she was an older woman or anything. The like old that, neighbor lady. Why don't lady. you stop by after my husband goes to sleep? Clean my gut is for me. <laughs> I'm 103. Let me, <laughs> let me show you my frog tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that uh, story is hilarious. I mean, 103, you're going to get a frog tattoo? She's never too late. I'm stealing this line from somebody that I saw online, but she's going to regret that later in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, Greg, here's your next question. I'll ask you a question now. What terrifies you about sex now? Now that you're, you know, you're, you're the uh, um, championship host. Uh, <laughs> probably... Uh, not being able to be as firm right at this age you know not being able to have the raging boner <laughs> okay oh, good mm, you know get as you get older yeah you know it's like okay i mean it's there you can use it but this is this okay yeah. i mean it's like a tire that's not fully inflated but you can still drive on it right <laughs> right or you don't want to throw something out like oh i'm so hard right now and, yeah. and she's like yeah, I, I mean, I kind of feel like we're riding on the spare, to be yeah, honest really? with you. Oh, the spare, the little tiny donut. Are we going four-wheeling? Is that why we're <laughs> inflated? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So let's see here. Uh, Greg Grumberg is with us. So you go check out his new film it's in theaters, drive-in theaters over the weekend. Yeah, that's cool, though. And video on demand starting today. It's Max Reloaded and the Nether Blasters. So it's it's actually Sport Max Greg. Reload. Max Reload. It's not Reloaded? No, that'll be the sequel. Oh, oh, that's right. Max it's, Reload. We're, we're manifesting. We're manifesting. Yeah, it's going to be such a success. I just know. Oh, it. It'll get a reload. Can I tell you something? It's also pre-heart attack uh, for um, Kevin Smith. So, Kevin, Kevin, this is the last. This is Big Kevin. Yes, yeah, this is Big his... Kevin, who I loved. And, I, I mean, he's a stud now. Now he's, like, handsome. and But he kills it in this movie. I am telling you. And my son's in this. Oh, really? Jake plays a young version of me in Max Reload. That makes sense. Oh, it's so good. It's so much fun. Joe Reitman. And Hassie Harrison, do you guys watch Yellowstone? Oh, I love she Yellowstone. She plays a daughter on, on Yellowstone. She's also on Tacoma FD. Hassie is hilarious and beautiful and just, she's that great combination. When she came in to read, I was like, uh, right before she even read, I'm like, done. you got it. Yeah, done. You got it, you know. Um, but uh, Tom Plumley is a great, he, he plays so Max. So sitting on that side of the, the table when someone's coming in to read, like you being an actor, now yeah. you're the casting director and all this stuff. Is that how it happens? Like somebody just comes in like, you got it. You don't need to read. No, that's the thing. It doesn't happen that way. Like I just read for something I really want. And I had to do it at home, you know, because it's the COVID and everything. And um, the people, and I know this, the people that I just sent the tape in for, they just take their sweet time. And by the way, that's fine. I just, as an actor, I, so, if I walk in the room and I'm perfect, say, ah, you're it. And also, if I'm the last, tr- just go, it's not going to happen, Granny. Yeah, just, just tell me, me so go. I don't have to right. spend the next three, four, five days, maybe weeks going, wonder what ha- ever happened with that. Yes. Just give me a note. Give me, we're not, they're just going a different direction. I, I, I read for Paterno, right? That was a huge thing for yeah. me. Working with Al Pacino and everything. I knew he was going to play Paterno. And I'm reading for Scott Paterno, the, the role of his son. And I put myself on tape, which it wasn't COVID, but I put myself on tape. And I'm no joke. Eight months later, six months later, it felt like. I probably was four months. Still, that's forever. Yeah. They're like, uh, yeah, you got the part. Barry Levinson wants you to play. I'm like, what are you? I, you I thought it went reminded. over like it was never happening. I couldn't even remember the movie. Were the other guys who got the part busy? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, how many times have you shot it already and it just yeah. didn't work out? Well, who do we have left? <laughs> oh, there's Grunny's tape. <laughs> I get call him, I guess, because these guys are a mess. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Uh.
So. Yeah, as soon as I read wow. for championship host, they knew. I was like, right. Man, man. <laughs> but I mean, it's the it's it really is the dream. Like I I loved the opportunity to do that. I couldn't do it. It didn't exactly happen that way because I was like, you're the girl because uh, I wasn't making the decision. It was Scott and Jeremy, these brilliant filmmakers in Arizona. So I was like, okay, Hassie, I want you. Cash and Richard was like, no, 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 don't promise. Well, you can't. I'm yeah. like, no, this is the way it should go down. And so uh, Tom Plumley, too, the lead, he walked in. I'm like, oh, there it is. Done. A young Ben Stiller. I want this guy. He's really? Great. Oh, he's so good. Yeah. All right. Greg Grunberg hanging out with us, talking about his uh, movie is out now on video on demand. Max Reload and the Nether Blasters. Go uh, check it out. Support Grunny. Also, here's another question for Truth oh, or Oh, it drink. doesn't end. No, it doesn't drink. Not till that. Um, uh, all right. Who was the gun. last person besides your partner or your doctor who's seen your junk? Wow. The last person who's seen my junk? Um, <laughs> my dog, Bowie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but she sees it with a lot of peanut butter on it. Oh, <laughs> hello. Yeah, he figured he better say that for one of us, too. He's like, yeah, exactly. Are you, are you, it. Are you the kind it. of dad, like, you could be naked in front of your sons? Like, could you go to a no, steam room? No. like at a Yes. Yeah. Or get... Take a shower after golf or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I grew up so so. <laughs> not that my parents weren't nudists by any. I mean, they were prudes. They just didn't know. But my, my Elizabeth once came to the door when we were dating. This is my wife, right? She comes to the door. I was at my parents' house and we were meeting at my parents' house. And she comes to the door and my dad. I don't know why. <laughs> he just didn't. He he literally walks out. Oh, my mom's talking to her and my and dad walks out and he's naked. Oh no. Yes. Oh, no is right. Oh, and my no. dad looks like he's wearing, uh, when he's naked, he looks like he's wearing cashmere. Just, you know, <laughs> hairy guy. as hairy as you can possibly get. And and, uh, and so she literally saw a little glimpse into the future. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's like, oh, no. Oh, no. That's what's going to look like. And I always said, I'm never going to do, no. I got three boys. Like, you know, we're always, and, and we're now they're home, you know. I mean, right. you know, one of them plays base, college baseball, but he's not, he's not at LMU right now because they're not playing. And Sam's at Cal, you know, he's he's playing baseball and and stuff. So, so you guys you still want to get in the locker room feel, so you all shower together, <laughs> exactly. you know, do a little towel snapping. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and, and, you know, I did a commercial for Rolades. That was one of the first things I ever did. R O L A I D S. Yes, that's how you spell relief, Greg Grunberg. It was me topless at a at a Buffalo Bills football game, and a guy playing my dad, and then a guy playing my grandfather, and we were all like, "Yeah!" <laughs> and it was like, and then the last line was, "Mom doesn't make it out to the games. So I don't know why." <laughs> and it was <laughs> just like the same sort of thing. Like my wife is not getting naked at the house in front of her boys. Like, no. So what's the age? I mean, what's the age where you where it's appropriate to go? Okay, we can't do this anymore. Like. You know, my wife still does. Gets naked in front of yeah, the whole just, family. In front of the whole family. Yeah, she's a hippie at heart, and so ah, oh. oh, there so you go. Yeah, she toured with the dead for a long time. She sold snow cones topless. You know, that's just to survive. Just to survive. But tell them about the time that your your wife was in the pool naked and your son was little. Oh well, yeah, we get home uh, when I lived in Bell Canyon, uh, and we got home and the cat was in the pool. So she's like, oh, so she just tears off her clothes and she jumps in the pool to save the cat. I guess Coyote had chased the cat. The cat jumped in the pool to get away. And uh, so we get the cat out and my son's like all upset. You know my son, Kale. Yeah. He was little and they always played baseball together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's all upset. We're like, oh, you know, it's okay, buddy. You, you're upset, you know, because the cat was you know, in the pool. He's like, no, mom's vagina was in the pool. <laughs> Like, he, he, he could never since. swim in it again because mom's <laughs> vagina was in the pool. Oh, my God. So funny. And you're like, no, it wasn't. It was not in the pool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Raul on the other side of the fence has his disposable camera yeah, out. Yes, sir. He's like, yeah, sh that vagina was in that pool. <laughs> it was definitely in the pool. I do have proof. With your wedding photos. Oh, God. All right, final question before we go to break and then come back and do something entirely different. Look at callbacks, by the way. I listen to the show. You do. I do. You do. All right, describe your second Sex life with a movie title. Until I just did this. This was a tweet that I sent out. Oh, really? Yeah. Pull up if if you pull up my tweets. I just said, describe your love life with a movie title, <laughs> and the, the and we should read some of them. They're hilarious. Wow. Mine would be Max Reload and the Netherlands. <laughs> Good call. You are a businessman. Yes, he oh, is. Yeah. It's not <laughs> bringing it up. Video on demand starting the day. Max Reload and the Nether Blasters with Greg Grumberg. We're going to take a quick break and come back. He's here the whole hour with us hanging out. So keep it here. We're Heidi and Frank. Now. now. 
Sports on tap on 95.5 KLOS. The Halos win a boat race at the Big A on a Mike Trout homer in the eighth. Otani tied it at nine in the sixth with a home run. Then Trouty lifted one over the wall to give them the 10-9 win. The Dodgers got six strong from ginger guard Dustin May, but couldn't get to the Padres pitching staff at the Ravine. They lose that 2-1. And the Lakers snapped that three-game losing streak, downing the Denver Nuggets in the bubble, 124-121. LeBron at 29, AD 27. And in spite of that, Kyle Kuzma was the player of the game with 25 points, including the game-winning bucket. I'm Pete Fox at Sports on Tap on 95.5 KLOS, Southern California's rock station. Here comes the KLOS socially distanced pool party. Saturday the 29th, KLOS are taking over the rooftop pool at the Sahara Las Vegas for a private KLOS winners only pool party hosted by our own Frank Kramer. Only 30 winners and their guests will be allowed in. So everyone can party in socially distanced style with drinks provided by Patron. Listen to the Heidi and Frank show each morning this week, 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. for your shot at a two-night stay at the Sahara Las Vegas and passes to the private at KLOS socially distant pool party. Can we get real? Some of you on these Zoom calls are as drunk as spring breakers. I'm attorney Darren Cavanoke from 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Even if bars are closed, law enforcement's always open. So put 1-800-NO-CUFFS on speed dial since no one looks good in handcuffs unless you're into that sort of thing. 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Hey, it's Eric. Listen, are you like me and you couldn't imagine your life without the internet? I use it for basically everything. And then when you get a family, everybody's using it all at once. If any of this sounds familiar, you need internet that's extremely fast and highly reliable. And that's fiber. And the best fiber comes from AT&T. AT&T Fiber offers plenty of bandwidth for you and your whole family to stay connected. You can stream 4K movies, video chat with friends, and upload and download without worry. Plus now, get 1G internet with HBO Max included, so you can access all your favorite entertainment. Get super fast entertainment grade internet with AT&T Fiber for $39.99 a month for a year when bundled. Now with unlimited internet data included. Visit att.com slash get fiber to find out about the great internet offers from AT&T. Limited availability may not be in your area. Download Max typically 940 Mbps. Speeds not guaranteed and vary. $10 per month. Equipment fee applies. Compatible device and online account registration required for HBO Max access. New residential AT&T Fiber customers only. Other charges and restrictions apply. For details and to see if you qualify, visit att.com slash get fiber. Metallica. Get ready for an epic drive-in concert near you. One night only, August 29th. Get your tickets this Friday at Ticketmaster.com. Metallica, a big screen performance like you've never seen before. Presented by Encore Drive-In Nights. Don't miss the band's first concert in 2020. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Don't miss Metallica at Woodland Hills Cinema Pop-Ups and Concerts in Your Car in Ventura on August 29th. The Hudson family has four kids and two options for a new home. Number one checks a lot of boxes. It's big, close to work. Private tennis court. Number two was kind of cramped, and that old barn was clearly haunted. But it has one gig internet with AT&T Fiber, so plenty of bandwidth and unlimited data for us to stream 4K movies while Billy games. Tina video chats, and Andrew and Maddie can do homework. HBO Max. Good point, Ghost. AT&T Fiber comes with HBO Max included. Looks like the Hudsons are bypassing the commuter's paradise to go with one gig internet with AT&T Fiber. And a fun new guest. Get super fast entertainment grade internet with AT&T Fiber. Now with unlimited data included. Find out how to bundle one gig internet and AT&T TV for $89.98 a month for a year. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Download max typically 940 megabits per second. Speeds not guaranteed. Compare $10 per month equipment fee applies. Compatible device and online account registration required for HBO Max access. New residential AT&T Fiber customers only. Other charges and restrictions apply. Visit att.com slash get fiber for details. You asked, how do I save money on my home loan? Intel Alone offers a home loan refinance at a 2.25% fixed rate in APR. That's just 2.25% with no fees or closing costs. Call 800-978-7400. That's 800-978-7400. Or visit IntelAlone.com. Intel Alone. Borrows smart. Rate subject to change without notice. Certain restrictions apply. Subject to credit approval. And MLS 3290. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California finance lender's law license. Number 6036970. Equal housing lender. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Tuller 
Chief Medical Officer of Aegis Treatment Centers. During the pandemic, Aegis has helped thousands of people overcome addiction to heroin and painkillers with counseling and medication. And we've kept our patients safe by following strict COVID-19 protocols and innovative telemedicine. We've helped so many people regain their freedom. And we're excited to now offer buprenorphine with no pharmacy visit required. Call 209-294-5146 or visit aegistreatmentcenters.com for the clinic nearest you. We are open and ready to help you. Want auto insurance with great savings and peace of mind? The choice is clear. Auto insurance through the Auto Club. Get your free quote today at AAA.com slash insurance. You could save an average of $537 a year. Hi, this is Elaine Chow, U.S. Secretary of Transportation. As Americans get back on the road, it's important to continue to practice good driving habits and follow traffic safety laws. So please, put your phone away, drive sober, always wear your seatbelt, Never speed and obey traffic safety laws and traffic officers. Let's keep moving forward together safely. Paid for by NHTSA. Hey, I have some news that might help with your sleep apnea. I'm still disappointed that I couldn't get used to that CPAP treatment. I know wearing the mask was hard, but don't give up yet. This is different. How so? Well, there's no mask. It's called Philips Night Balance, and it's for people with positional sleep apnea. You wear a comfortable strap around your chest holding a device that prompts you to shift to your side. Philips Night Balance is clinically proven, easy to use, and comfortable to wear. Call 1-833-38-SLEEP and use code ONYOURSIDE7 to get $150 off and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Or go to philips.com slash onyourside. I'm ready to try it. I'm already dialing. Call 1-833-38-SLEEP and use code ONYOURSIDE7 to save $150. Go to philips.com slash on your side or talk to a healthcare provider. Offer ends September 7th. There's always a way to make life better. Innovation and you. Phillips. If you have rats in your attic or walls, don't make the mistake of putting out poison or wasting money with a company that charges you monthly to check rat traps. Rat Proof. For a one-time fee, Rodent Stop will identify and seal all rat entry points, trap and remove all rats, sanitize your attic to remove any nasty viruses, and remove and replace all rat nest infested attic insulation. Rodent Stop is so confident that they can stop your rat and mice problems that they provide a lifetime guarantee. Read all the five-star reviews on Yelp. If you have rats or mice in your house or business, call Rodent Stop at 800-798-2041. 800-798-2041. We provide fast, friendly, and effective rodent control solutions throughout Southern California. Plus, our technicians are clean, friendly, and always on time. To stop the rodents, call Rodent Stop at 800-798-2041. 800-798-2041. Open 24 hours. Call 800-798-2041. 41. At Arrowhead, we don't just collect spring water. We care for it. We monitor and help conserve each spring site. So whether you're out enjoying Mother Nature or inside in front of the TV, every drop of our mountain spring water will taste as crisp and refreshing as the last. Taste the difference for yourself. At a participating 7-Eleven, buy one one-liter bottle of Arrowhead brand Mountain Spring Water, and 7-Eleven will give you one for free. Hurry, limited time offer. Valid through September 1st, 2020. This day in rock 1958 was historic when the first rock and roll single ever was awarded a gold record. The song was Hard-Headed Woman by the King Elvis Presley. You have to be up in five hours, two hours, and you haven't slept. Vic Zequil Pure Z's is a drug-free blend of botanicals with an optimal dose of melatonin that helps you fall asleep naturally and wake with no next day grogginess. Zequil Pure Z's, naturally superior sleep. This day in rock is brought to you by Zequil Pure Z's. Nobody escapes. Heidi, Heidi, and and Frank. Frank. Heidi and Frank. There's no escaping them. More Heidi and Frank now on 95.5 KLOS. Howdy and Frank show. Greg Grunberg is with us, uh, promoting his new film, Max Reload and the Nether Blasters. You can get it on video on demand right now. And if you happen to have a drive-in theater near you, it opened up in uh, drive-in theaters over the weekend. So go have a date go night. Yeah, be between uh, porn screenings, they'll be showing. Mm. That's right. I still can't get over that. Uh, a drive-in porn theater. I, I, I can't. A I penis mean, that enormous. Right. Bring your own sheep. Whoa. Like, what oh, is happening? <laughs> 
It was crazy. Ugh. So one of the producers on the movie, Brian McKinney, he owns uh, Rush Street uh, Bar and Grill in Culver City. Great, great place. He just, and he comes from Chicago. They own a bunch of restaurants. He said that Malort is kind of a badge of honor in Chicago. That's right. Like, it's just, the you know. <laughs> it's kind of being initiated by the Chicagoans to say, okay, you're one of us now. And, and we've all got, so. we all got jumped into Malort by a former pr- uh, producer who worked on the show, was from Chicago. Oh, is that right? And that's how we got. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in. but I think if, if if you are caught drinking that, it says, yeah, I've been in prison. <laughs> yeah. So like, don't mess with that guy. Or, or, he likes it. Yeah. Or I'm a survivalist. I drink yeah. my own urine. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so bad. It's atrocious. The worst. Ugh. Have you ever uh, played the game uh, Bean Boozled? No. What's that game? Bean Boozled is a game where it's it's a box of jelly beans, okay. and the jelly beans oh, uh, yeah. can be good or they can be horrible. <laughs> yeah. So you have played this game. I, I have played this game with my kids. We don't call it that. We're, we, you know, we try and get, and I didn't get the heinous, the look on your face, Heidi's face right now. She's like, oh, I can't believe we're doing this to Greg. I, I mean, I'm feeling, I feel real sorry for you, I guess. And well, I, we don't I have just... to play. I mean. Okay, it, good. It's, um, <laughs> but see, this is a box of extreme bean boozled where there's only bad ones. And so you don't know which one you're going to get. Again, your selling technique <laughs> really needs help. I mean, it's things like... Um, Have you ever played put a piece of shit in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> You'd really love it. It's a great game. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. Uh, you got stinky socks, stink bug, uh, dirty dishwater, skunk spray, rotten egg, booger. Booger was not too bad. Oh, God. Uh, dead fish. Oh spoiled God. milk, barf, and, and uh, canned dog food, which actually Sammy choked down like a champ. She loved it, but it smelled the room up so oh. bad that we were, oh, I can't we were all dry that. here. Uh, yeah, no, we're not playing that game. No, I'll just put that as a side. Yeah, not happening. Here. Yeah, Not happening. Just in case something happens I mean, before I really, 10. I want to promote Max Reload and the Nether Blasters. Don't get me wrong. Have yeah. You, <laughs> I'm not willing to eat something that just came out of your butt to do it. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, you did risk your life by coming uh, down to the studio. We have you behind the glass right Hermetically now. Hermetically sealed. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are in the bubble. But uh, as far as, uh, do you know anybody who has COVID-19? Like I do, yeah. One degree of separation? Uh, that I haven't, no, I haven't, like, gone and seen them. I mean, there's... there's I mean, a, not see them, but it's like, oh, yeah, it's like Bill. He's got COVID. Yes. And he's a neighbor. I something. know, yes. And I have a friend uh, who lost his dad. Oh, wow. God. Which is awful. Um, there's a guy, so I, I was shooting these things, these uh, scenes, which are really great, by the way, on YouTube.com slash Greg Grunberg channel. You can see that's where they're living right now, but I'm doing them with uh, HBO and uh, Warner 150. And there's great writers, and they're sitting at home. Whatever. So I said, write these scenes, and we'll shoot them. And I brought these great actors to it. Anyway, one of the writers, he's in New York, and he, I mean, 11 members of his family. So I don't, it's not like I'm buddies but with you him, know. but Alfonso, but so, yeah, he told me, he was like, oh, yeah, no, we have all these relatives and people in the hospital and this and that. So then how do you explain to the guy that's like, it's all a hoax, man. You're all a bunch of sheep. COVID's a hoax. <laughs> man. I got to tell you, it's bringing out the crazies. All these, you know, the Kevins and the Karens and all these people, at least they're boiling to the top. That's true. And, and, and you know, the, 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 the concerts, what, Smash Mouth had a concert? Did you see that? I mean, hey, now. <laughs> You're a moron. You're a dumbass. I mean, seriously. Put your mask on. That was, and go sa- play. South, that was in South Dakota. And I don't know how much the outbreak is happening. Not in the South Dakota. sharpest tool in the <laughs> shed. <laughs> I mean, what is going on? And these churches. There's a church in Sun Valley. They had a mm-hmm. huge yeah. get together. And then Newbury Jesus Park. will not allow COVID to get into my body. I mean, as much as I think these people are complete imbeciles, morons, selfish. I don't want them. To be infected, I don't want them to be harmed. I, it's just, it's like, just think, man. There are people going through s- suffering all over the world, and all you have to do is put a mask on. All you have to do is be courteous and you stay go, home. Yeah, you go into Trader Joe's, you go into these, one of these stores, and these people are losing their minds. What it tells me is that these people did wear the mask for a little while, but their breath was so atrocious that they couldn't even stand themselves. Exactly. So now they're like, it's my right. But it's like, you have halitosis. That's true. And this is, the, this is the way of telling us that. It's true. It's shooting right back in yeah. the yeah, no, everyone, oh. everyone who wears a mask oh. has nice gums and teeth and can tolerate it. Yeah. If you don't wear a mask, 
your breath stinks. Yeah. Now, do you my think body, the, my toy. <laughs> do, do you think masks are going to continue? I mean, I think we're going to be wearing these for a long time. I'll never time. fly without a mask, no matter five, ten years from now. Right. You don't really fly anyway. I, I don't, but I, if I do. Hi, the quarantine lifestyle was Heidi's lifestyle beforehand. She'd go home from work and she'd stay there all day. Right. She doesn't leave the house. I mean, DoorDash, uh, Instacart, Postmates, all Instacart, stuff. all it's of like, that. Yeah. You, you were preparing for this a long time before I'm a pr- I'm a, I am a, a COVID prepper. <laughs> I have to say, and, <laughs> the thing is, I have, I have built up some really great relationships with my shoppers. Like, uh, yeah. It's so great. It's like, they don't have this sausage. Would you like this sausage? And I'm like, F you. Find yeah. my sausage. Yeah. Talk to the manager. I'm not approving substitutions Talk at this time. Talk to the manager. Time. Is there any sausage in the back? It's for Greg Grunberg. It's for Greg Grunberg. You know the star of Max Reload, the Nether Blast. He's got to get Malort taste out of his mouth. <laughs> get him a sausage he can eat. There's only one sausage that get that taste out of your mouth. Oh. And you don't want that taste in your mouth. No, championship host. Six of one, half dozen of the Woo. other. That's right. Uh, I saw that Antonio Banderas has tested positive for COVID-19. And that's terrible. That's yeah. terrible. He says he's relatively okay, though. But, yeah, a lot of... Uh... What about Alyssa Milano? Did you see? She, she got it. She did? She not only got it, she got it. She just put a video up on Instagram yesterday where she had a detangler. I've never seen one of those brushes. It's a detangler brush. And her hair is falling out. She's a friend of mine. I mean, I, again, I don't, oh my on God. my enemies, I don't wish this. And I am just looking, and by the way, she was sick, and she didn't know, and she tested negative. The whole story, her whole story is terrible because she has kids and, you know, yeah. family around her, and you don't know if you have it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's it's bad. She's fine. Wait, She's, she tested negative but still had it? Still had it, then tested positive, you know, oh, so it was like a false God. test. Yeah. That's I've been tested terrifying. just because we were like, well, we haven't been tested. It's been months and months. We went and got tested, and, you know, we were all negative, thank God. But If I ever get it, I want Alyssa Milano to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> she could sneeze in my eyes right now. You do right. love her. I would take that. Yeah. yeah you would. She is a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. Mm. She was a neighbor of yours, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's a neighbor. Yeah, I've met her a few times. She's yeah. so, so sweet, so down to earth, so nice. I can see that. Yeah, really yeah. good person. Yeah. Uh, let's see here as far as uh, what we're going to do next, Greg. You want to play another game? I, I'm not eating it, your beans. It's been going so well so far. I know. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Grunberg's coming in. Here Bring out go. the old party games. Here we go. You like playing games. It seems like you would have a game night with Greg yeah, Grunberg. For sure. like, oh, yeah, for sure. definitely invite Greg yeah. over for that. So, so have you seen the game show that I'm on, by the way? 25 words or less. Uh, Meredith Vieira hosts. I love that show. I, uh, I'm on it all the time. I win. I've been winning, you know, helping people win. $10, so it's like a dollars. password? It is. It's it's kind of like um, uh, that game where, you know, I can name that tune. It would name that tune. It was kind of like name that tune, but with words. So you get 25 words. You can only use 25 words, and I have to get you to say five words using only 25 words. Then there's another celeb on the other side. Melissa Peterman is the other kind of permanent celeb. I'm kind of like Nipsey Russell now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Paul Lynn. Anyway, so you start. I look at these lists. I look at this list, and I'm like, hmm, I could do that in two. I can do that in one. I can do that. So you add it up in your head. And you take all the time in the world. The audience is sitting there, and I take, I'm no joke, I take 10 minutes. and Because they're going to cut it out, so it doesn't matter. Together. And I go, okay, I can do, I can get Frank to say all the five of these words in, uh, <clears throat> I can do it in 23 words. And then the, Melissa will say, oh, well, I can do it in 19 words. And the audience goes, ooh. ooh. <laughs> and, then, and then it gets competitive, and you kind of forget, what was my original number? What did I need? <laughs> and then you're put to the test. If you do it, if Melissa does it and, and gets it wrong, I get the we get the money and and then you know the rounds keep going. I love it. It's so good. It's Fun. so good. And Mer- Meredith Vieira is an angel, guys. Funny. She's really nice. Oh, I, I love her. I didn't want to like her for some reason. She kind of has that edge where it's like I probably wouldn't like her, and then I didn't want to when I met her. But she's a sweetheart. Sweet. Absolutely. The, the I felt nicest. bad for not almost not liking her. Yeah. Like I hate Amelia Earhart. I don't know why, but I just have a disdain <laughs> for that bitch. He's from since the moment I I'm met glad him. It happened. I'm right. like, that, there must be some past life stuff. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what it, she owes me money. She owes something you is money. not something, something happened, happened in the yeah. past life. That's right. why she she disappeared into some black hole yeah. somewhere. Exactly. Right. She's I'm off not, my money someplace. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. You lent back. her twenty grand. She never got it back to you. Right. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Um, all right. Uh, Eric. So, so by the way, we're going no. back to shoot more episodes of that show. We're doing a ton more. I don't know how we're going to do it. They're oh. doing COVID safe. I guess you could do that Zoom. They're not, we're not doing Zoom. It's oh, going to wow. be in a studio, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I love it. Booths like this, probably. They keep doing the reruns, and my dad keeps calling me and going, "You can't get so close to these people. You keep <laughs> hugging them. Right. You keep touching them." And I'm like, "Dad, we shot this in 1981." <laughs> We'll send him this clip because you do look like the center square right now. You I mean, do like- like, I'll take Greg Grumberg yeah. center square. That's right. <laughs> 
Uh, All right, somewhere in uh, your bubble, Greg, mm -hmm. there is uh, something hidden. The, yep. the what we're going to play is called Kitty Karaoke. Since you are in uh, the band from TV, you play a ton of cover songs. So I'm assuming yep. you, you'll know all these songs. These are well-known songs of all time. Okay, I'm and the drummer, by the way. You're going to basically meow these songs to us. It's Kitty Karaoke. So oh, you know, good. it's like. So, and it's going to be an internal game, so we're going to compete amongst ourselves to guess. And nobody guesses you have to eat one of these beans, okay? Greg, <laughs> wait a minute. Why am I the loser? Well, so we're competitive, so someone's going to get the right answer. But if it's, oh, if it's so bad that dude. nobody in here gets the answer, and we're all pretty good at games. You'll be fine. Then uh, you'll have to eat a bean. Okay. So where is the hidden list? Greg, directly behind you, tucked into the soundproof phone, there's a piece of paper. Okay, there, there it is. I found it. See? Do I get something for finding it? No, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, so, uh, oh, what? come on. All right, ready? All right, so you start out, dude. With, start out with number one. I have the list, so I can't guess. So, okay. But you guys okay. are all playing. Here we go. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 let Heidi go. It's right there. Oh, come is, on. Is it ACDC back in black? Boom, yes. yes. Oh. Heidi gets a point. Yes. Yeah, but you think you know what shout your name out so we can... Uh... Oh, meow, good meow, job. Meow, 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 meow. I knew it, but you killed meow, that guy. Maybe the next time the band TV's together, do like a meow version of some of these songs. That would be great. Now, I don't know this next band or song. All right, skip that one. Okay. We'll go right to number three. <clears throat> uh, Heidi's got one point. Everybody has zero. Here we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, know, I, I can't tell you what part of the song it is. No, I'm no, just no. He's got to start it. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. John. John. Living on, uh, living on uh, prayer. Yes. Yes. Living on prayer, John. Bon Jovi. <laughs> Tie game between Johnny and Heidi. Ooh. Jordan, you're still you're in there playing too, right? I'm here. I'm listening. Right. It's amazing. Like in my head, you're gonna get it in three seconds, and you guys are looking at me like <laughs> we're looking at you like cats. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Watching a mouse. Uh, Stop you, cleaning um, yourself, Heidi. If you want me to uh, so good. Uh, eat the bean? Okay. <laughs> here we go. Number four. Here we go. Uh, uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, 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 I can't remember the lead up to. I know. Do you have a list? <laughs> yeah, I have a list. <laughs> you have a list. That's terrible, right? I mean, that's that's a cat with a stutter. That's like that. <laughs> well, but I'm super curious. So do it again, because I feel like I know it. Johnny. Uh, oh, Johnny, you know it. Is it Whip It? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. Whip it. Yeah. Dude, you and I are cat connected. See, that's the problem, is the lead-up. Well, right. You thought it was My Sharona. I yeah. did. Yeah, she did yeah, think yeah. it was My Sharona. All right, here we go. It's Kitty Karaoke with Greg Grumberg. <laughs> Don't forget, you can see Greg's uh, movie, Video On Demand, Max Reload, and the Nether Blasters. Uh, if you're by a drive-in theater, it might just be playing. It started this past weekend. All right, here we go. Kitty Karaoke, we're up to song number five. The score is Johnny 2, Heidi 1, the rest of you 0. I'm doing pretty good. You are. You are. Okay, ready? <clears throat> All right. Johnny. Johnny. Like a virgin. Yes, yes. Yes. Johnny. Oh, nailed it. Oh, my God, Greg. Dude, I think, I honestly think we have a, uh, um, what's that planet, uh, um, pet uh, uh, cable network, what uh, is it? Uh, um. Uh, you know, like what? I mean, this is a game show. If for... we don't guess this, you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's coming in. He wants to be behind glass. We're going to make him suffer. That's right. I That's mean, your my punishment. God. Uh, that was, you were so adorable doing that one. Uh, that he, was, he was acting it out and like, everything, mm. too. Yeah, I was rubbing myself. I mean, he's very animated. He's an actor, so you might want to watch as you listen because yeah, he's acting it that might one help out. You. So, so on 25 Words or Less, we're not allowed to use our hands. And we have to hold the board, like hold this uh, yeah. iPad type thing. It's so hard. hard. First of all, I'm Jewish. I talk yeah. with my hands. 
And then I I'm an actor? Like, forget right. about it. You have oh, to. Yeah, God. you're taking everything away from me by not letting All me touch my stuff. Myself. The score is Johnny um, 3, Heidi 1, the rest of you 0. We're up to song number 6, <clears throat> Kitty Karaoke with Greg Grumberg. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. That's, I can't do that, though, right? No, no. I mean, you have to do cat, it as a meow. But you, my cat can do that. Do it as a hiss. <laughs> I mean, you do it a, maybe as a hissing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yum, 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 <laughs> I don't know what else. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. Billie Jean. No, it's not. Oh, that's Billie what Jean. it sounded like when he was doing the... Oh, uh, maybe that's what threw it off. Okay, uh, so erase your uh, brain and start over. He's almost a bean here. Um, okay. Okay. Ready? All right. Meow meow, meow meow, meow meow, meow meow. Uh, 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 Michael Jackson's "Beat It." Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's "Beat It." How are you coming back? She's got two. Johnny's got three. Sammy, disappointing zero. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan I don't least had a guess. This, I don't remember. This is such a f popular song. Like, um. I remember how it goes. Um, can you put it in my ears only? No. No. You can't put it in his ears only? Um, Damn. Oh, it's such a good one, too. Right? Yeah. Do you want to skip to, to number eight? Maybe think about number seven Yeah. for the final round? Okay. Skip to song eight on Kitty Karaoke with Greg Grumberg. <laughs> it's a fancy show. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What's that? That's throwing the me off. The show. Oh, now I lost my song. Oh, no. <laughs> You ever do that? Yeah, like, try to remember. You're like, something. shut up! I'm trying to think of something. Exactly. That's why I don't have cats. Okay. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, uh, okay. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. Jordan. Meow meow. Johnny came in first. We will rock you. Yes. Turn your microphone, Johnny. It helps the radio. Meow meow meow. Meow meow. Ah. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow, that's so good. All right, so Johnny is I'm sweating. Like four to yeah, two. I think there's only like one left. So really, This John one's worth five points. All right, this is worth five points, and it's the final one. Do but you have I, the idea what the song sounds I don't have, like? I don't have anything else on that I list. thought you said number seven. And number number seven, going back to that one. Oh, no, I can't. I don't remember how that song goes. I can't remember how that Damn. goes. Can you help? Can you get Give it started, one. Frank, since yeah, you know it? I think it. maybe Eric could probably do it. You, oh, you can to... tag me in if you want, Greg. You want to tag him in? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you in. want me to do number two that you skipped or number seven that you skipped? Let's do number seven, because I don't even know number two, never heard. I mean, probably when I hear the song in meow version, I'll know it. <laughs> okay, but... I'll do number two for you. No, no, no. Number seven. Okay, number seven. Yeah. Uh... Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Jordan. Yes. All right, Jordan. Oh, it's Nirvana. Uh, smells like Teen Spirit. Yes. yes. Jordan's on the board. Not a total smell. Yes. By the way, Nirvana sounds more like a cat now. <laughs> that was so good. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, Wait, Eric. was that a five pointer? Did I just win? That was I a think, five pointer, I think Jordan. Jordan. Just won. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, for, for a three point bonus question, you want to do number two real quick since you already prepped oh, great. it? Great. Thanks. Do it, do it, Eric. Wait, right. shouldn't it be a six point bonus question? All right, a six point bonus question. <laughs> okay. The six so Sammy could possibly win this. For Kitty Karaoke. Meow, 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 Now you heard the song, Greg? No? Yes, of course. Yeah. I most... hated it then, and yeah. I hate it even yeah. more now that yeah. a cat sang it. Cat, version. cat version. Yeah. Greg, always fun having you on the oh, show, man. I appreciate blast. you coming in. That was painless. You know, I thought that I was, was a nether do... blast. I thought I was going to have to eat one of those rat pellets, the little poops <laughs> that you call beans, and then wash it down with some <laughs> with of this some malort. malort urine. That's normally what we do. We were nice to you. We were today. very nice to you because you played along. Yes. I love you guys so much. We Thank you. We love you, too. And um, also, how about the book? You got a book out too. Yeah, I've got my uh, Dream Jumper. Um, that's right. Yeah, that's my graphic novel, and that with two books already in the series. And uh, you know, spoiler alert: I think we're going to make it into a TV series. Oh, I'm nice. really excited. It's called Dream Jumper. Yay. It's about a boy who's able to jump in and out of his friends' dreams and save them from their worst nightmares. That's beautiful. That would be so awesome. So check out Dream Love Jumper it. and. 
and Max Reload and the Nether Blaster. Hell so check yeah. it out on video on demand starting today. Thank you so much. I Thank think, you, guys. Uh, Johnny ran out of the room since he was so excited about winning to get our uh, <laughs> list of apologies for everything that we have to, uh, what? I won. Say? I won. Johnny didn't win. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that would be me. I was the one who won. Sammy won. He was just focused on winning so much because he, he yeah. didn't want you to He come thought to. he was going to win until we threw in the five point and then the six point bonus question. It's funny because he ended up being in third place after all. <laughs> Jordan got second with five points. That's right. Sammy came in first. And by the way, I just want to say, my wife texted me. I want to I just make a correction. You know, I talked about my dog and peanut butter on my genitals. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't she happen. She said, please clear that up. <laughs> yeah, she said, clear that up. And, and, and the truth is, if somebody's out there listening and they're like, hey, not a bad idea. Don't use, <laughs> don't do that. Don't use organic peanut butter because it really, it's the it's oil, rough. the oil, or crunchy. And it's crunchy. Don't use that. That's yeah. bumpy and crunchy, and no, no. one wants to yeah. see that or hear that. No. Choosy perverts choose Jeff. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just skippy right on out of here? Oh. <laughs> you know, Elvis did have peanut butter and banana sandwiches and oh. a hound dog. Oh! Uh, hand us those uh, sorry lists. We're going to apologize <laughs> and get the hell out of here. Oh, all right. Let's see who we offended today. People Man. with halitosis. Yeah, we did. Pluto, Smash Mouth, and uh, Bill Fagerbacky. Uh, Home Depot employees, crabs, Skynet, and German circuses. American Idol, Russian scientists, COVID preppers, and token straight couples. Boogie Boarders, James Bond, Mayor McCheese, and little Toyota trucks. San Diego State University, Prisoners, Cat People, and Greg Fartspray Grunberg. My special needs best man, women in fedoras, porn drive-ins, and maids a milking. You really have to listen to the whole show brought to you by your Southern California Toyota dealers. We are Heidi and Frank. KLOS and KLOS HD1 Los Angeles. Streaming online at 955KLOS.com. This is Southern California's Rock Station. 955KLOS.